Transcripts and recordings of the podcast may not be used for any purpose without the direct written permission of the podcast owner. Welcome to Light It Up, a podcast about resilient women balancing motherhood, their careers, personal lives, and all of the challenges that come along with being a superwoman. Each week, you'll be motivated to take action to lead, inspire, transform, and empower. Now, here's your host, Dr. Regina Mashira. Hey, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Light It Up. I am your host, Dr. Ajina Mashira. I am so excited about this week's episode because I have another phenomenal um, person, a Black woman who is in business. And um, we are talking to entrepreneurs this month during the Women's History Month. And I had an opportunity to meet Coach Fanny recently. Um, We've got some connections in a couple of groups and um, I was just amazed by her her work in terms of health and wellness. And that is a very important topic. So I wanted to bring Coach Fanny on who has helped thousands of people become healthy, rid excess weight, which I'm sure many of us can do. I am one of them and reverse many health challenges um, that some of us may be experiencing. So welcome to Light It Up, Coach Fanny. How are you? I am wonderful. How are you, Dr. Muhammad? I am doing very well and you do not have to be all formal and call me Dr. Muhammad. (laughs) Okay. What would you prefer me to call you? You can call me a Gina. It's fine. Okay, Gina. Okay, Gina. You yeah. know, I, I I was taught manners. So uh, you have to tell me that I can't or tell me what to do. I won't assume. So thank you. Hey, Gina. Hey. <laughs> yeah, people get on me about that, but I just, you know, it, it's all good. I understand. <laughs> so I wanted to have a conversation with you um, because I wanted to know more about Create Your World, uh, which is a health and wellness organization that you've launched. I know you also are involved in um, fitness. So you do some fitness training. You're an author and you're a high school health teacher. So I'm just curious to know, how did you, um, as a high school health teacher, I guess it probably makes sense, but how did you, um, I guess, make the decision to launch Create Your World and what is Create Your Your World? So Create Your World, um, it's just that, it's uh, creating your world, creating the world that you want to live in, the mindset that you want to exist as. Um, When I was on my own health journey, getting rid of excess weight and improving my skin. I was dealing with hair loss and um, some stomach issues, irritable bowel syndrome. I was almost 300 pounds. I just had a lot going on. And I was trying a lot of fad diets, losing weight, gaining it back. It was just like a yo-yo, like just like a roller coaster all the time. And so it wasn't until I decided to just do it the old school way, the the real traditional way that I was able to be successful because I had to change my mindset. I had to like embrace what healthy eating was. I had to embrace and start to respect my body for everything that it was, everything that it did for me. It just, it turned into a spiritual journey. And so I really had to separate from everything I had to unlearn so that I could relearn and doing a lot of research and reading I was creating my world I didn't know that that was the way to do it and so when I went that route 
I started losing a lot of weight. It did take some time. It did take me uh, almost a year to drop the weight and get to a healthy place. But um, the years that it took to get to that mindset, that was the, the longest part. But when I finally decided to buckle down and create some structure and, and do some research and get disciplined, that's when I was able to get healthy. And as I was getting healthier and losing weight and vibrating higher, people, my, my coworkers started to be encouraged and they were asking me to help them lose weight. And what to, so I started training people for free. I was excited to do it. I felt amazing. I'd never felt like that before. It was just, it, it just really changed me on a, uh, just a brain funk. Just my brain just was like mm -hmm. illuminating. It just, it, it was so different. Yeah. And so I was just happy to share the information. I was training people for free and giving them meal plans and working them out and everything. And I said, wait a minute, this is a business. <laughs> Right. You can, you can make this into a business. And so um, as I was thinking of names, the first the first name was Fanny's World. And okay. then I didn't want people to follow me. I wanted them to discover themselves in the same way that I did. So I changed it to create your world so that it wasn't so focused on me because the whole goal was to help other my, my main um, my target the people that I help the most are women. So at that time, I just wanted to be able to help other women in the same way that I was able to um, receive the blessing of learning how to get healthy. So that's how Create Your World came to be. Okay. Now, there was something that you said, and I think, well, I know I've been guilty of this. You mentioned the yo-yo diets, right? And oftentimes, and I think because we live now in this society of like instant gratification and you know things happen happening instantly when people are on their weight loss journey if they don't have the right mindset because you also talked about your mindset like you have to change your way of thinking um what do you think what was it was there like this aha moment or something that you had where you said that, you know, I've just got to focus on this differently and not be so consumed with how quickly I'm going to lose the weight. But, you know, because I think research shows too, that when you um, lose, I want to say when you lose weight slowly, you're more prone to keep it off a longer time or something along those lines, like trying to get rid of excess weight quickly, you're going to be more likely to gain it back just mm -hmm. as quickly as you lost it. So what was it? Was there any one particular thing that transpired that really um, was the driving force for you to, you know, take a different- There was, there was, there was, I, um, the yo-yoing, just back and forth, just, you know, I, I I even lost 40 pounds in a month before, you know, I know how to get, yeah, I know how to get weight off pretty quickly. Um, I've always been able to, to, like, if there's something that I really want to do, I can cold turkey anything, like my focus is like super laser focus, if it's something that I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. And so I realized, okay, you do very well at work, you know, working for other people. They put you on these project plans and you're able to implement all these different ideas that other people have put together. They just tell you this timeline. This is what you need to do. This needs to be done by this date and that date, that date. And so the yo-yo, the I just got tired of it. It was depressing, you know, to lose all this weight and then they gain it right back because I still craved, I, I still craved the really unhealthy food. In addition to that, I wasn't educated on what foods to actually eat that would keep me healthy. So I was pretty much like starving myself almost, but still feeding myself, but I wasn't getting the nutritional value that I needed. So the mindset, the change was not there because I was looking for that instant gratification and I got it every time, but the cycle of mental abuse and anguish that it took me through, it was just, it, it was terrible. So that's when the light bulb came on. You do really well at work. You stay over time. You meet these deadlines. 
you push through, if you, you mess up on, you know, whatever. You do what you have to do at work every time. You do well with people managing you and telling you what to do. You know, you, you, you like those accolades. You like those bonuses. You know, I was a workaholic. My light bulb came on. Turn yourself into a project plan. Mm. Write it out. Because if you can blood, sweat, and tears for your job, and your 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 health is like the thing I, I see me every day and I'm not happy with what I see. I'm not happy with how I feel, yet I keep showing up for work every day for this paycheck. I'd like for all this to go together. Right. So let's 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 if you if you have this level of strength for someone else, let's see how you can apply that same mindset to yourself. And that's exactly what happened. I said, turn yourself into a project plan. So I wrote it out. Mm-hmm. On paper, it looked great. Like it was all mapped out. And this was like before meal prepping was even a thing. I knew the power of meal prepping because I knew one of my pitfalls was eating unhealthy at work with my coworkers. Mm-hmm. That was fun time because we're stressed out at work. Let's go eat Connie's pizza, you know, let's whatever, you know, whatever. We just, we, we fed ourselves through our accomplishments and it was always through something unhealthy. And so I started meal prepping. I started bringing my food to work with me. My breakfast, though I would have breakfast at home. I would bring my mid-morning snack, my lunch, my my mid-afternoon snack, and I'd have dinner at home. But the other thing was I needed to make room to exercise. And I was in school at the time too. So where am I going to find this time to exercise? I have children, I have a family. So I had to start waking up one hour early. I said, if you what you 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 do it for school, you do it. You stay up all night and burn the midnight oil to get these assignments, and you you're you're doing it for work. You you stay up like, take the same mindset because you know you can do it. It's not impossible. You just have to want it. So, I started waking up an hour early every day to work out, and I and I met, promised myself, even if you cry through the workout, do the workout, and I cried so many days because one I didn't want to get up like if I was to get up I prefer to be going and sitting at a laptop you know knocking something out yeah. it's a whole new ball game to get up and start moving your body mm-hmm. that's just a different type of beast and so I cried through a lot of workouts I mean and I was heavy too so I would um I wanted to learn how to run mm-hmm. and I didn't know how to breathe and to run, it felt like my 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 skin was like ripping off the bones, like with every step. And I would cry and pray and pray and cry and asking God, please, would you just show me how to breathe? And so I, I, I gained a new appreciation for my body, my entire temple, like every organ. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that everything that was happening was creating my world is it was giving me that gratitude that I needed to have in order to lose the weight Mm -hmm. in order to keep it off in order to have respect for food have respect for myself it just it all came together and um that was the aha moment I pushed through as they say blood sweat and tears and I and I had to stay on the schedule so I created a calendar every day and it was right in front of my bed and I used the pink highlighter because uh, uh, pink is my favorite color. Okay. <laughs> so um, every day that I was successful with lunch and exercise, well, I mean, with food and exercise, I was able to get a slash. Okay. So I needed to see that timeline. You know, I need to see that project plan. Okay, one day closer, one day closer, you know. And if I missed a day, it would haunt me that I didn't have, I can't make it up. I'm not going to lie to myself. Mm -hmm. And so that's what kept me accountable. And, um, and like I said, then I started losing the weight and getting it off and people were inspired and I started helping them and and turned it into a business. Okay. Wow. So how long, um, I guess, when did you start your, um, your journey to a healthy lifestyle? 2008 is when it okay. started. 
2008 is when it started and I officially launched my business in 2017, but I've been helping people since, um, well, 2008 is when I got all the way healthy Mm -hmm. and, um, but I'd been helping people before then. Mm -hmm. And so I I was just, you know, helping folks and doing things under the table, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, uh, training people and and, and teaching group fitness classes, personal training, and everything was just um, knowledge without the certificates, you know, just Mm -hmm. applying what I'd learned. So yeah, I've been doing it that long. So one thing that I, um, I'm curious to know, like, you know, um, you said that you started doing research on, um, I guess the the benefits, right, of uh, mm-hmm. of juicing and healthy um, eating. What exactly? I guess why should we? Uh, why should we juice? I know you know sometimes you're you'll hear folks um, do the detox, and I know that clearly you know we're feeding our bodies all sorts of stuff um whether it's the cravings for the fast food salt sugar etc um but why what are the benefits of juicing and is there um maybe a a set number of times you know per month that you should juice what direction should folks go in if if they're interested in juicing Juicing has no limits. You can juice every day. You can, um, when you think about what it is, it's just fruits and vegetables, you know, and that's something that we should have every day, every meal. It should be the majority of everything that we eat. It's alive like us. Mm -hmm. And so the benefit, number one, would be that you're being fed on a cellular level. Those nutrients are penetrating your cells immediately. And so you're getting the benefits immediately because it's a living food going into your living body. So it's a match for match. And so that's why your energy is so high. That's why you see so many benefits in your skin and you just, um, you're able to rid toxins from your body and reverse illness and things of that nature because the nutritional value is just like, it's it's like uh, being fed intravenously. You know, it's like zap, you know, going right in and giving you what you need. And so there's no limit on um, on juicing. It's, it's, it's your preference, how you want to do it. Once you start juicing, it's so addictive because you see how it makes you feel. The mm-hmm. benefits, I mean, the, the you know, the external um, benefit, that's like, it's so down the line. Mm-hmm. It just ha- it's, it's just like a an addition because what's happening on the inside, the way that you feel, your sleep quality is better. You feel more flexible. Your concentration is through the roof. You feel more patient. You feel more kind. You feel more loving. You just feel alive. You just you feel like a flower. You know, mm-hmm. it's just incredible the way that you feel like you feel it feels like the the sun is penetrating you on a deeper level you know everything your senses are higher Mm -hmm. you are just more in tune with yourself you're more in tune with nature it's just it's a beautiful feeling versus when you eat processed foods and when you eat meat you are eating a dead animal asking your body to process something that's not alive. So now you're sending your white blood cells, which is your army to fight off, you know, disease, to fight off toxins, to fight off germs. You're sending it into overdrive. It's like a a fake alarm that's happening. And, And you keep putting your body through that trauma because it's looking at that meat like a toxic invader. It's like, what is this? It's dead. Everything in here is it's popping, you know, we, we in here alive, we got systems going, we got blood and, you know, nerves and, and, and all types of stuff happening. But then here comes this dead animal that you voluntarily introduced to your body. And now your white blood cells are like, I got to protect you. And now we got to fight and you just tiring your body down. That's why, you know, folks are like, I was so tired after that meal. We're not supposed to be tired after our meal. Right. Yeah. That we're, we're forcing our body to process something that it shouldn't have to because we can get our protein, we can get our ca- calcium, we can get all those essential nutrients through living foods. We don't have to get it through dead food. And so 
you just think about it. If, 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 if I don't know many people that could um, just have their animals slaughtered right in front of them and eat it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, yeah. you know, but we're so used to having it all, you know, fancied up and you, you know, whatever. But when you think about what you're really eating, you're eating the trauma of that animal because look at the cow, you mm -hmm. know, the cow, it's a big animal. Uh, it has like a lot of mucus coming out of his nose. That's mucus in our body. Mm -hmm. You're watching your your buddy may have been, you know, your your partner, or whatever. We don't know the language that they talk, but now they're going to slaughter. They're getting killed in front of each other. They have feelings. They're getting their babies taken away, you know. And so we're eating the energy of these animals in addition to asking our bodies to process the dead animal that has all this. Because it's like when... When, when somebody comes into your house or comes into your space, it, you just feel the energy of the, yeah. either they're good or they're, they're not, you know, something is off. We're doing the same thing to ourselves voluntarily. So I'm not one to tell people don't go and eat meat. Mm -hmm. All I ask is that you eat majority fruits and vegetables, you know, have a minimal amount of meat. If that's something that you have to have, be mindful that it's a good good thing to have an animal that's less than, you know, that like less than 50 pounds because you take on the attributes of that animal. If you look at how big people are, they stay, you, it, you end up looking like literally you are what you eat. Yes. You know, as you are explaining this, it makes so much sense. And it there's so does. many fun ways to cook. If there's so many recipes like you won't miss it. You just have yeah. to get off into it and, and give yourself that opportunity. It's the yeah. best. And, I, and I'm even thinking about, so I don't eat red. Well, I don't eat red meat. I, okay. I typically turkey, um, chicken and fish and yeah. really only salmon or um, orange roughy, for example, a light fish. But the times that I have eat, eaten red meat, maybe I've had a craving that just came out of nowhere. I don't know, right? I will often get sick because my body is not accustomed to that or I feel sluggish, like you mentioned, you know, and I don't eat a lot. You know, there are some people who have to have like two or three, you know, <laughs> settings but I don't eat a lot but I definitely notice the difference so as as you were explaining just thinking about eating a dead animal versus eating you know something that's live your your uh, fruits and vegetables it really does make sense when you think about it in in that way um so that's really a way to kind of like hammer it home <laughs> In yeah, terms of what we're putting in our bodies. Yeah, it, it it just you know, you start feeling so good. It's just like unmatched. You just you you get so used to that feeling, and so when you start to, like you know, dip you know, d uh, dabble back into the other stuff, you're like, wait a minute, that's not that. No, it's it, and so your your respect for yourself, your 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 self love, like it just. There's so many things that happen as a result of what we put in our mouths because it affects the way that we think, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you're eating meat all the time. Now you're too tired to focus on whatever it is you need to focus on. You're too tired to be with your family or go out with your friends or you're, you, you don't like the way your outfit looks because now you're bloated and, and you know, things are just not doing what you want them to do. It's just, it's, it's just a newfound love that you game for yourself when you think about what you're because when I think about when I was eating like that mm -hmm. I was in a very very low place in my life that girl I'm so happy to know her because had I not known her I would not be able to speak to women and the voice that I that I do right now because I understand the journey but that sadness that I was experiencing it was a direct correlation to the food that I was eating there was no way out because it was a match for match my thoughts were low and so was my food my food was just in a I used to love cheese nips <laughs> I, I could, I'm sorry I could eat an entire box of cheese nips and so it was just it was like crazy like 
the stuff that I would put in my body that satisfied me, that made me feel good, you know, just because I needed that instant gratification. I needed that sugar, that addiction, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. these, these ingredients that they're putting in food, they are testing us to see how our brains respond to eat like so the, the the crunch on the potato chip they know that we want that sound mm. so that you know people are going in to get the test they got the little things on their heads you know whatever what what's spiking in the brain you know when they hear the sound so now I know to keep this sound in the chip now we got to keep repeating that because the brain is you know hitting that happy that right. dopamine you know I'm getting that satisfaction okay so what about the taste now we're, we're we're doing the taste and and so many of these things are made with chemicals there's not a lot of um junk food or you know snacks or whatever processed snacks that you're going to find that are you know made with 100 food so we are being studied for sales mm -hmm. We are, we are insurance policies. We are walking insurance policies because everybody, they're together. We have the, the food manufacturers mm -hmm. with the drug manufacturers, you know, with the doctors. If there's no money in us healing ourselves, you know, there are plenty of doctors that do want to see people healthy, but do, we do know that just like there are good people in the world, there are bad people in the world. We have people that, they, they don't have our best interests at heart. You know, it's, they say we put it on the label. Yeah, it's your responsibility to read it. I read didn't that. have it from you. Yeah. What do you, you know, when you look at the food servings? Yeah, okay, yeah, it may be 100 calories if I eat this, but how many servings? So now I ate the whole box and the whole box may feed 17 people. I just consumed 1700 calories, all these carbs, all this cholesterol, no idea how to read a food label. These are the things that should be mandatory to teach at school, mandatory to, you know, take on in your job because you're going to be calling off from work because you're not going to be feeling good. You know, we should have these things as... <sighs> I, I, I would make it mandatory that people have to get into a wellness program, you know, in order to come and work for me. You know, we, I want to make sure that you're healthy, your quality of life is, I, I'm not hurting you. I'm not taking away your freedoms. I'm really trying to encourage you to learn what real freedom is. And that's what that's taking care of your health, because if you don't know how to read that food label. Now you've eaten 17 servings of this. Now you may get in the hot, go in the hospital, may, maybe develop a high blood pressure, type two diabetes, because you just, you're just not reading it. It's not popular. It's not common to read the food. Like we need to be flipping this stuff over. I was able to discover what was ailing my son. Mm -hmm. My son had asthma and he was um, given a lot of steroids, you know, different things, prednisone, all this stuff that was making his immune system very weak. Mm -hmm. um, nobody told me to check out his diet. And so I realized my son isn't getting better. He's full of medicine. I, it was just, it was just the craziest place to be to, to keep watching him be sick because every, every cold would turn into like a upper respiratory mm -hmm. infection. And he would stay sick forever, not knowing that dairy was the culprit. Yes. That was making him sick. And so took dairy out of his diet. Well, I thought I took dairy out of his diet. Stopped giving him um, cheese because he loved cheese. I had stopped drinking whole milk a long time ago. Mm -hmm. He was still getting sick though. Didn't really know why he was still getting sick. Started reading the, the labels, thought I knew everything. And so really started delving in on the labels because he got sick like all of a sudden. And I said, it got to be the food. It's something that he's eating. Sure enough, some of the foods that I assumed didn't have milk in it had milk in it. Oh, wow. So I had to remove so many things from his diet. He hasn't been sick um, since uh, last October. Okay. Versus he used to get sick at least uh, twice a month. Mm. Wow. It's, and he's 11 now. And wow. this is since he was two and, and finally made the discovery that I need to read every food label. Everything. Yeah. Because 
you just don't know what what what's in this stuff. It, it, he was uh, liking. Uh, I would let him have funyuns every now and again. Mm-hmm. Funyuns have milk in them. Does it really? Wow. Funyuns, just different different snacks. I would let him have. They it, it milk. Wow. So that's the culprit. So he hasn't been sick since then. Mm. And you know, it's um, I my daughter who is sixteen. She has been, we just went to the doctor last week because she's been complaining about headaches and they are very, very frequent. Um, And I, you know, the first order of business was to get her eyes checked. So did that, got her some glasses, but she's still having headaches. And I was saying to her, it's got to be something that you're eating. So what I've ask her to do, keep a food journal, you know? So when you get a headache, um, when the headache comes on, and then I, and, and, and I will also say that I thought it was also associated with, you know, her cycle as well, because I know oftentimes that happens, but now it's just more and more frequent. And so now what we're doing is keeping a food journal so that we can try to maybe pinpoint what it is that's causing the headaches because I believe it's the food yeah Um, but I need to figure it out like what is it that's that's causing I bet I'm willing to bet it's something that she's eating Mm because um when I when I had irritable bowel syndrome they put me on a lot of medicine that didn't heal me they didn't check my diet Mm -hmm. and when I started to do the research because irritable bowel syndrome feels like food poisoning Mm -hmm. and you never know when it's gonna hit and so um because the medicine wasn't working um and I was having migraines I was had experience in hair loss and the weight gain it was so my skin was in terrible condition I wouldn't leave out the house without everything on my face trying to cover up like the acne and the marks and things on my face because it was all in the food and so when I researched what irritable bowel syndrome was it really was like uh, inflammation of the stomach from the food that you're eating and so it's like your body throwing up on the inside and it's just causing all kinds of things to happen Mm -hmm. and so the first thing that I did was stop drinking pop Mm -hmm. then I stopped frying my food then I started cutting back on junk food. And before you know it, I was just like, gradually, I was just healing and healing. My hair was getting back healthy and my skin was clearing up and it it just, it was, it was the food. Well, we, yeah, we are, we're killing ourselves with the food. We really are. It's sad. It's it sad. Is. It is it's really sad because food didn't used to be this way, yeah. you know, and they can get so much get away with so much so many um dangerous ingredients because as I can like there there are some foods that have like traces of like sawdust in it you know as fillers because legally they can put small amounts that aren't harmful for to your health you know Mm -hmm. but if I eat the entire box right you know, asbestos, all these different things can be put in as fillers, you know, who's making these law, who's saying that this is, a, well, they can, you can say it's okay, because these small traces aren't hurting us, it's how much of it that we're eating is what's hurting us, right. and because it's addictive, because it tastes so good, because we're not educated on what to eat, like my prayer to God was, help me learn how to make healthy food tastes good yeah. help me learn how to uh, figure out what foods will help me feel fuller longer because mm-hmm. I was hungry all the time because I was used to having the junk food which never fills you up because it doesn't have any nutritional value so now I would swear I was starving <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know yeah. and yeah. It was just because of what I was eating. And so that's how I'm able to teach people how to eat. Like, we don't have to take forever losing weight. We just need to know what to eat. 
Mm -hmm. We need to know how to combine what foods to combine. And when you, when I, I guess I had to go through the fire in order to learn how to do it, but I, I can, I can help people. I've helped so many people lose weight when they stick to the plan. You don't, you don't have to starve yourself. Mm -hmm. You can eat delicious food. Um, I've helped so many people reverse hypertension and type two diabetes just through healthy eating. That's it. Nothing else. And, and it's not you depriving yourself. It's not that you can't have pizza if you want it. It's just, you can't have pizza every day. Right. Moderation. <laughs> moderation. You, it's, yeah. it's, you, you, you can still drink wine. You can't drink it every day. Right. You know, that drink after work, that that's, that's when you have to, you got to cut it off. Right. It's like, it's like, it comes down to how bad do you want it? Great point. Great point. Now, let me ask you for people who do you offer, I assume you offer consultation to individuals who may be ready to be disciplined and to take charge of their health? I do. I do. You can um, email me at Fannie at createyourworld.org um, with your with your requests, you know, I don't, um, I do have an online fitness program that's advertised on my website at createyourworld.org. But um, people, I've, I've noticed that people really want the nutrition aspect more than anything. They want the, the, the high level accountability, you know, mm -hmm. um, they want the high level accountability. So with my, my online program, it's um it's an online fitness program and you, I do the videos and you come on and you do the videos. You, you pretty much you're doing what I'm doing on the video. Okay. However, I do have people that they just want the nutrition coaching and they want me to write the workout plans for them. I make sure that they do. So I'm your personal trainer. But it's kind of, we're, we're not in person. I don't, I, I don't, at this time, I'm not taking any personal training clients, but I do coach people virtually. Okay. Now, what about the, the detox, the, the juice, the, um, how can we get that? What, what are the options that are available um, okay. to people who may be interested? So there are a lot of options um, there. Again, on my website at createyourworld.org, I have three different detox bundles, mm -hmm. uh, three options. I have the Nature's Candy mm -hmm. and they, they all have a digestive cleanse component. So the ones that 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 say with a digestive cleanse, mm -hmm. they, they're all detox. These are the ones that are curbing your appetite, helping you to drop weight, clean out your digestive tract. Our digestive tract is like super duper thin. And so we have like tons of debris that's sitting on it, sitting in there that needs to be flushed out. So the ones that um, that say with digestive cleanse, those are the detox. Okay. So you have a three, five or seven day cleanse. And I also give you a free meal plan on how to eat while you, while you detox. It even includes fast food options, like what healthy items you can choose off a of fast food menu. So three, five, and seven day cleanse means that you drink two bottles a day, two snacks, and one healthy meal. So if you get the three day uh, cleanse, you get six bottles. If you do the five day cleanse, you get 10 bottles. And with the seven day cleanse, you get 14 bottles. So the nature's candy has strawberry grape juice and everything's all real food, no additives, no preservatives, strawberry grape. Um, grape pineapple and grape lemonade are the flavors that come in nature's candy. Grapes are full of fiber. They have tons of fiber in them. And so they make you feel full of longer. All of them do make you feel full, full, like you feel very satisfied. But grapes especially, it's like a double, double whammy. You know, it's like really pounded it in. Then you have the Skyrocket Energy, which um, has strawberry kiwi, pineapple kiwi, and pineapple grapefruit. And so those fruits give you all the fruit, all the juices give you a high level of energy, but there are certain fruits that give you like a, an extra, extra boost. So uh -huh. it's, 
it has like a lot of vitamin C, all these vitamin C rich foods. So that's the skyrocket energy. All the juices, like seriously, they are phenomenal. You're going to love the taste. Um, then you have the 30 day fat burner detox powder. So if you don't want to do the juices or you may want to switch, you may want to do juicing, you may want to do powder, you know, so with the powder, you do the powder twice a day, curbs your appetite, same thing, one healthy meal, two healthy snacks, and that flavor is mango lemonade. Wow. What's great about the fat burner detox powder is it doesn't give you those jitters. You don't have like that crazy diarrhea. You don't have the cramping or anything like that. It tastes really good put it in your water, shake it up and drink it. You're done. Then I have a protein powder. Uh, it's uh, formulated with macro root. And so macro root, one of the benefits to macro root is it helps you get more endurance in your workouts. You have more stamina. You feel it's like a pre-workout drink. Okay. So the way that you consume it is to drink half the bottle before the workout, half the other half afterwards. The first part, the, fir the first half, you take it to give you that energy. The second half is to build and repair the muscles. But macro root is also um, known to boost your libido. So it will increase your sex drive. It brightens your skin. It gives you a great healthy tone. So women who may be experiencing like, you know, loose skin around their breasts or like in their, their calves or butt area, things like that, macro root will help give you that firmness back. But you have to like be diligent about mm -hmm putting those nutrients in then you have the powerhouse greens which is like nature's ritalin um i drink this stuff every day to stay on point and some of the ingredients are spirulina mm -hmm. which is has so much iron in it and it increases the oxygen in your blood so the more oxygen you have in your blood the more oxygen that goes to the brain the more clarity you have the more focus you have you know because you know when we don't get oxygen to the brain we're dead mm -hmm. so now we're eating foods that's sending putting more red blood cells in the blood increasing that oxygen and so um it has acai berry which is a great antioxidant, getting rid of, you know, illness and keeping your white blood cells like on 10. So all the, all the, all the products are amazing. I have a seasoning line, okay. um, fish batter, uh, all purpose seasoning, a seafood seasoning, a bean seasoning, a green seasoning, uh, cookbook meal plans. It's just, um, a one-stop shop for all things. It's, it's, creating your world you know it's it's all those things that um because we we have a hard time with food you know yeah. anybody can get up and go and exercise you know we can hey girl let's go meet up mm -hmm. meet you at two o'clock and then we're gonna go eat pizza and drink wine afterwards it's like defeats the purpose <laughs> Can we get this whole thing under control? You right. know, we, you know, we can go exercise, but if we just get that food thing on lock down, we'll be good. And if we stay disciplined and keep each other accountable long enough to where this is what we're craving. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, girl, I found this place that they go crazy on the arugula, you know, what it's what you we need to be having those levels of conversations about the foods that are making us happy. Right. Yeah. Who has the best soup? You know, who has who has the best juice? Like I saw a, a show one time and they were doing a side-by-side -side, uh comparison of a, a steakhouse versus a vegan restaurant and the energy. And it was insane. Like the people in the steakhouse, they were like rodeo crazy loud. Mm -hmm. The people in the vegan restaurant, it was almost like you could hear violins. Mm -hmm. It was, they were just peaceful, but it's just a reflection of what's going on on the inside. Like I, I, I love a good time. I do. But, and I, and I will eat some chicken when I get ready, you know, <laughs> but I also know what's going to happen if I keep eating it. Right, right. The overindulgence is the issue that we that we have. I mean, we're an obese society. What would you recommend? Because I've gone on the website, so I've got some orders that I, I need to place. Hey, hey, and I got a discount for you too. Ooh, 
<laughs> what would you recommend that I start off with? I mean, or that some, well, we should probably have a consultation, but like the nature's candy sounds amazing. Um, I want to go all three because I can see where I need to do all of this, but and just, you can freeze them. You can freeze them. Okay. Okay. Now, and you know, one thing that I, um, and I've, I've juiced before. Um, for me, it's been very time consuming, you know, and just not knowing like what to put together. So mm -hmm. I prefer to defer to someone who knows hey. <laughs> what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. But um, one myth, I guess, or misconception that I, full transparency that I have, because you stated like, um, when you're detoxing to have the two juices, still your snack and then um, dinner. I I know what I've done wrong. I was just trying to juice for three, four days and, you know, not including a meal, which clearly does not sound like the right thing. Because then do. you get hungry. You get exactly. hungry. Yeah. Yeah. You want to shoot something. Uh, yes, yes <laughs> exactly so, you're like how long am I supposed to drink this <laughs> right right um so I'm glad to know that I can eat but yeah, you can eat. healthy right and not consume things that are gonna be counterproductive to what I'm doing with the juice absolutely again I, I told you I had to learn mm -hmm. what foods to combine Mm -hmm. so now it's like second nature this goes with this this is what's going to keep you full this is what's going to flush you out this is what's going to this is what's safe to eat this is what you this is where you can have more calories at this time you know so I have it all mapped out for you I was the I was the science project <laughs> <laughs> when they say I, I walked for you so that you yes. could run or whatever the saying is but I, I I I had to I didn't realize that God was taking me through that so that I can learn how to teach it mm -hmm. just like this. It's just, it's, it's like second nature, but it, it took years, years to get there. And so I'm, I'm so happy to share it. I would just give it away to the world. Well, I'm glad that you're not giving it away for free anymore because you yeah. have to place a value on yeah. your knowledge and your skills and your hard work. But I'm also happy that you have, um, turn something that um, has become beneficial to you in terms of really essentially saving your life, right? Yeah. In terms of getting healthy and being able to share that gift with other people. Because if we can get this food thing under control and get our health under control, then, you know, we don't have to worry about, like you said, the high blood pressure and being on all of these different medications, um, which which is killing us too when you're it's sad. consuming the medication. Because there's so many these... men that have high blood pressure right now yeah. and they don't they don't know what to do. Yeah. They have no idea what to do. And it's just that the information. They don't, you, you don't know what you don't know. So how do you look for it? Right, right. You know, how do you know what questions to ask if I don't even know? I, I have no idea. And nobody that I know, they don't know it. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's like, that's why I'm happy to share. I'm happy to share. And I and I, I tell even my students at school, I tell them, tell your, your, your people Mm -hmm. at home what you learn you know um and the great majority of my client base it's women you know and so they're giving these juices to their husbands they are but it just needs to be louder yeah. because I'm a strong believer that when we feel better we do better we treat the world around us better mm -hmm. and so we just we just have to keep going we have to keep pushing it out there pushing it out there healthy yeah. healthy Fr fresh fruits and vegetables fresh and this is how you make it taste good this, right you know because we want we want it to taste good right absolutely well tell folks where can they now when they place an order for the detox um juice mm -hmm. are, are they a are you shipping it can it be shipped pick up yep how does that yep. work 
So I have three pickup locations. When you go to the website, you be, you're able to choose uh, three locations in the Chicagoland area to pick up from, or you can choose the shipping option. You go to createyourwall.org and you choose where you, um, which option you want, and you just go from there. And I think, I think orders over a hundred dollars are free shipping. Okay. Well, I am going to, I don't, I don't want to be one of those people who will say, oh, I got to fit into this dress. Now I can fit into the dress and I can zip it up because I have been on my own um, health journey where I've been watching what I'm eating, um, doing some intermittent fasting. But if I can get that meal prep down or just get some, I have recipes, but it's really hard for me to just cook for myself and my daughter doesn't seem to like what I like. So we're struggling there. I think she needs a consultation. She needs to um to taste some something to see what tastes well. Good. I have a I have, I have a cookbook <laughs> on the website. It's called it's called Clean Eating with a Twist. I have it has tons of breakfast options lunch and dinner options and it's just that clean eating with a twist so you get to have what i'm talking about the the healthy food mixed with the mm, alcohol, okay. okay yeah that you know so uh and it's really easy to follow pictures for every meal it's it's i love it okay. i love food and so i would not promote anything that's not tasty <laughs> i can guarantee you that because that's why I'm here for eating too much. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely need some inspiration with some yeah. tasty um, meals um, because I can't just continue with eating the salads and smoothies. But yeah, it gets boring. Yeah, yeah, and and that's that's the thing. I don't want to be bored with my food anymore. Because then that's when you go back to the other stuff. Exactly for that instant gratification of whatever salt or something that tasted I've been missing yeah so yeah when we when we when we get in our consultation I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks all right well I am looking forward to it I will be scheduling it but like I said I do have this dress that I want to make sure I look a little bit you know tight in, you, you so. got it, you got it. <laughs> it's yours to have well I want to thank you so much for joining me um Thank this you. week um don't forget everybody go to createyourworld.org yes place your order and um reach out and connect to coach yes. Fanny for a consultation and um you know see how she can yep. help you create a you health can find me on also so you're on facebook yep. you can find me on all social media Yep. And TikTok under Create Your World LLC. Oh, you're on TikTok too? Yep. TikTok too. All right. Okay. Well, I will be following you there too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of Light It Up. Make sure you share this episode with family member or friend. And don't forget to like and subscribe and follow the podcast. Of course, it's on all platforms, all streaming platforms, as well as YouTube. So make sure you come back next week and see what interesting guests I have on Light It Up Podcast. Until next time, remember to continue to light it up and shine bright like a diamond. Thanks for joining me this week on Light It Up. Make sure you visit my website at www.lightituppodcast.com or www.ajinamohammed.com. You can also find me on social media using the handle at Light It Up Podcast. If you like what you've heard, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, I'd appreciate a rating on iTunes or you can simply tell a friend about the show. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday for a new episode. Until next time, Light it up and shine bright like a diamond.